A 58-year-old woman comes to the physician because of intermittent vaginal bleeding during the past three months. She has been treated with tamoxifen since having a partial mastectomy and radiation therapy for a stage 2 carcinoma of the left breast four years ago. Her last menstrual period was at the age of 48 years. She has never had an abnormal pap smear. Speculum examination shows no abnormalities. By manual examination shows no abnormal masses. Which of the following structures is the most likely source of the bleeding? Here, the correct answer is D. Uterine endometrium. History of tamoxifen intake and the complaint of postmenopausal bleeding suggests the diagnosis of endometrial carcinoma. Normal pap smear and speculum examination helps rule out cervical cancer. Tamoxifen is a selective estrogen receptor modulator. It acts as an estrogen receptor antagonist in the breast tissue and a partial agonist in the endometrial tissue. It increases the risk for endometrial carcinoma. Did you know that endometrial cancer is the most common cancer of the female reproductive system? The endometrium is the inner layer or lining of the uterus, which is located in a woman's pelvis and is where a fetus grows during pregnancy. The five-year relative survival rate for endometrial cancer is 82%. Endometrial cancer is most commonly diagnosed in women ages 55 to 64. Symptoms of endometrial cancer include pelvic pain and unusual vaginal discharge, including bleeding. Obesity, high blood pressure, and diabetes are factors that increase the chance of endometrial cancer. Women taking estrogen without progesterone for menopausal hormone therapy have a higher likelihood of developing this cancer. Thank you.